attention. Here are the secrets behind that game, including the big one, how to defeat King Koopa and win. Practice, practice, practice may get you to Carnegie Hall, but to beat Super Mario Brothers 3, you'll need more than that. Let's start with how you hold the controller. Always hold your finger on the B button when you're playing. When you do that, Mario runs wherever he goes. Instead of walking, he runs. If you need to jump or something, just push down on the heel of your thumb. But always keep the tip of your thumb on the A, and you'll really be a power player. Howard Phillips may be the best video game player in the world. In fact, at Nintendo, he's known as the Game Master. Now, for the first time on television, he's going to reveal Mario's ultimate secrets. Even if you don't play very often, this will still put you ahead of the game. Well, first thing that a uh, player wants to know is how to get farther into the game quickly, because that's one of the big rewards of a game. And in Mario Brothers, there's three hidden warp whistles that allow you to get farther into the game. The first one is found in level 1-3. And you can find it uh, if you go towards the end of the level, there's a white block. Uh, that you can stand on top of and what you do is you duck down you hold onto your hat and you duck down and hold there for about five seconds the count of five Mario will drop down behind the white block and in fact disappearing then you run to the end of the, the level as quickly as possible and you go to a magic room where there's a warp whistle second one you can get in the fortress on level one if you go there and go about halfway through, you'll get to a dry bones, which is a turtle that's a skeleton. You, you squish him, and then you run back and forth, getting enough speed so that Mario can fly. You fly up to the ceiling of the, of the dungeon and over to the right, and you'll find a hidden door that shows you where the second warp whistle is. The third warp whistle is from World 2 on the overworld screen. If you get to the point where the upper right-hand corner has a rock on the screen, you have to use a hammer to break that rock, and you go into a new area of the screen that you couldn't see before. In this area, if you go and defeat the Hammer Brothers... Whoa! You'll get the third warp whistle. I think the ultimate tip for Super Mario 3 is that there's a way that you can defeat King Koopa at the end of the game without him uh, breathing fire at you, and you be actually become invincible when you battle him. I really shouldn't tell you this, but the trick is you get the P-Wing from the princess, and you take that to the about halfway through the last level, and you'll find this area where there's a fall through the bottom of the screen, and you take the second corridor from the top, and you go to the right until you get to Koopa, then you fly up to the top of the screen and walk over to the left, and then back to the right again, and when you battle Koopa, he won't have any fire anymore, and also, he can only touch you once, and once he's done that, then he'll just jump up and down and eventually fall uh, through the bottom of the screen, and you'll win the game. There are lots of secrets in almost every program, and programmers put them in there on purpose sometimes, by mistake other times, uh, but they're in there to make you have fun, and if you're, every time a new spiny comes down, you'll be able to rack up an extra life.